What is going on everybody? My name is The Real Spoons and in today's video we're going to be doing something really exciting. We're going to set up custom alerts for your Twitch channel rewards on your own Twitch channel. Uh, and I know I made a video sort of related to this recently, um, but that was really kind of only focused on like image alerts. And at that time, uh, that was kind of the only thing you could really do when it came to reward redemptions was just kind of have an image pop up on the screen. But this new method that I found is going to allow you to do sounds, videos, GIFs, images, uh, OBS scene switches, all that kind of stuff based on when someone redeems a reward in your Twitch channel. So it's really cool. Uh, the possibilities are really endless. It's free and it's just really amazing. So let's go ahead and pimp out your Twitch channel reward alerts right now. Okay, so there are three requirements for setting up custom alerts for your Twitch rewards. First, you have to use this app called Triggerfire, which you can see on the screen right now. Second, you have to be using stream elements. And third, uh, you need OBS. Pretty self-explanatory. If you're not using stream elements yet, I do highly recommend it. It really helped my stream out, uh, reduce CPU usage on my computer, made, this, made my games run better, made the stream run better, all that kind of stuff. I really enjoy uh, stream elements, so I do recommend switching to them if you haven't already. Uh, and if you haven't used them before, uh, you know, this is a good opportunity to kind of learn a little bit about stream elements. So um, first off, you're going to have to join the Discord channel for Triggerfire. And that is how you're going to get be able to get a download for Triggerfire. So the link to their Discord channel is down below. And the reason they do this is just because if there's any support questions you guys have, things like that, they really want it to be housed within their Discord channel. So they, they want the download links to just live down in the Discord. So feel free to click the link down there below. You also find a link to a Stream Elements widget that you have to add to your Stream Elements overlays. So feel free to go ahead and do that. You're gonna to need to do that later in the video. I'll explain, but feel free to do that now if you want to. So this is Trigger Fire right here is where kind of everything lives. It supports Twitch and Mixer. Unfortunately, I'm not able to uh, give any support for the Mixer side of things just because I don't stream on Mixer. I'll be setting this up through Twitch. Uh, but if you guys do have questions, I'm sure they'll be able to help you over in the Discord channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to um, Trigger Fire right here. I'm gonna log in with Twitch. If it lets me, there we go. Finally, it clicked. And you'll see it's a really simple setup. So you're gonna be able to uh, do images, videos, sounds, OBS scene switches and source switches. Uh, OBS triggers is what they call it. And then you can do group triggers. So essentially setting up maybe a video trigger also with an OBS trigger at the same time. Um, now image triggers, I will say, they do allow you to attach sounds to it. So that's kind of the more traditional way to set up an alert for Twitch. Um, so we're gonna be focusing just on the image alerts here, but the rest of it is pretty self-explanatory and a similar process to what I'm gonna be doing here. So. First off, in the bottom right, you're gonna to wanna to click the plus button to add an image trigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And you gotta, got I can't talk right now. You have to give it a command name. So don't worry about what this is really called, to be honest, um, unless you actually want people to be using it in, in the chat. So they'll be able to actually use a command in the chat if you allow them to, um, that can actually set this trigger off. But I'll show you how to make sure that that doesn't happen if you don't want that to happen. Um, so I'm going to call this command name, I'm going to just call it art because the uh, the reward that I'm going to be setting up here is art related. And then to the right of the command name, you'll see this dollar sign. You're going to want to click on that. Now, this is really important where it says reward name. You have to copy and paste or type in exactly what your reward name is on your Twitch channel. So I'm going to open up my chat right here and you can see I have these rewards and I have one called custom. MS Paint Art. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and I'm gonna paste that directly in here. Now, if you want people to be able to use this trigger in chat without actually redeeming the reward, you can check this box right here called allow command. But if you don't want that to happen, and I recommend that not happening, just because the whole point of kind of setting this up is so that there's alerts when people actually redeem rewards and they're not just using a command. Um, so I'm gonna leave that unchecked. So I'm gonna click save right there. And then now I'm gonna select an image. So you can upload GIFs, you can upload still images, whatever you wanna do. I have this Bob Ross image right here, so I'm gonna uh, choose that one because that fits with the whole art theme. 
Uh, and then you can attach a sound. So I have some random sounds right now, but feel free to you know upload your own sounds if you would like to. Uh, I'm gonna just choose this Price is Right loser sound. Uh, and I'm gonna turn this down a bit because I think it is a little loud, but you can preview it right here. There you go, beautiful. And uh, I just realized you guys might not be able to see that because my webcam, so let me shrink that a little bit so that you can see the sound is right there. And you can see you can adjust the volume if you'd like to as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Save. And now that you have established that there is an alert in Trigger Fire, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is click this uh, pink cogwheel button in the bottom right. And you're gonna see this token right here. So you're gonna to wanna to copy this token. And if you've added the uh, overlay, the stream elements overlay that's in the Trigger Fire Discord, you're gonna to wanna to open that up in stream elements. So head over to the Discord right now. Uh, you'll see that there is a link to trigger fire and then there's also a link to the stream elements overlay um, and once you do that you will be able to open it up and it's going to look something like this and it's going to have this settings uh, panel on the left so you can uh, feel free to adjust you know how big and, and or small or whatever you want this uh, alert to be um, and then you can click the settings on the left side and you can go to widget token. Now you're gonna to wanna to paste this widget token directly in here, the one that we just copied from Triggerfire. You're gonna to wanna to paste it right there. I'm not gonna share exactly what mine is just because um, you know, I don't know if I can actually reset it, um, but there might actually be a reset button over here. Let me just check. Yeah, you can reset it, so we're good. We're in the clear. If you guys, for whatever reason, accidentally get yours leaked or something like that, feel free to reset it within Triggerfire. And you can also set up uh, image trigger options. You can have it say, you know, play immediately after the enter animation. Um, you know, you can you can you can go through all of these and just kind of set it to how you want. You know, there's kind of endless possibilities when it comes to trigger fire, which I really love about it. It's super simple to set up, and yeah, I just think it's really fantastic. So now that we've set this up, I'm gonna go ahead and click save in the top right. Also, one thing that I did notice this is like a brand new stream element sort of overlay, but it only is is exists with trigger fire when i add the trigger fire overlay it looks like this but when i add anything else to stream elements it looks like the old version so i don't know if this is like a little preview of what a new stream elements thing is going to be a new overlay editor is going to be but it looks really cool so uh, stream elements if you're watching this looks great so thanks for doing that <laughs> all right so the last thing that we need to do here is open up obs so i'm going to give you guys a little bit of obsception right now and you're gonna need to um, copy this um, this overlay and put it as a browser source in OBS. So I'm gonna go ahead and head to Stream Elements here, copy the over overlay URL uh, for Trigger Fire. I'm gonna go ahead and open up OBS here. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add a browser source, and I'm gonna just call this uh, Test SE Overlay. You can call it whatever you want, obviously. I'm gonna put the URL there. I'm gonna make it 1920 by 1080. And the last thing we need to do now that we have that added is I'm gonna go ahead and just close out stream elements here just because I know it can be a little, a little crazy if I'm testing alerts and that's going off along with OBS. And yeah, the last thing we have to do is now head over to my chat, which I have on the left side here. And I'm gonna go ahead and redeem that reward which as you can see, I was testing earlier. So custom MS Paint reward. I'm gonna say, hello, streamer. And I'm gonna click chat and we'll see if Bob Ross appears on the screen. There he is, we got Bob Ross with the Price is Right sound. Doesn't really go that well with, uh, with what he's saying. Every day is a good day to paint, but then apparently we lost the Price is Right at the same time, kind of weird. Now you guys might have noticed that when that that uh, that when the alert went away, it kind of like had a glitch where it like moved to the right and it went straight up. Uh, that is something I have noticed that is happening with Trigger Fire, and I'm sure it's a bug that they're working on. Um, but if that happens with you guys, be sure to report it in their Discord channel, just because uh, you know I, I just think that um, that it's good to do that, and I, it's it's gonna help the product overall. Um, 
but yeah, that that really isn't a big issue for me just because like the idea of the alert is that something appears on the screen and there's a sound. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much to me that it like kind of gets all janky when it leaves. But this is honestly the best alternative we have at the moment. It's a really fantastic app. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what kind of alerts are you setting up. The possibilities are really endless for this. I'm excited to see what you guys do. They don't always have to be kind of that standard alert that I just showed you. You know, it, it could be something like, you know, um, it could be like you switch scenes and all of a sudden like one of your alerts is like there's an earthquake and maybe you have a scene in, in OBS that like that like shakes the screen or something like that. It could be really cool and I'm, I'm really excited to see how creative you guys are with this. Now, one thing I will say is that uh, I didn't really find a way in Trigger Fire to like set uh, kind of like the, the way the standard alerts work is where like there's an image and then it'll say like so-and-so just followed. So I don't really see an option for that in here where it's like so-and-so just redeemed so like whatever the reward was. Like I don't really see that option even in the advanced tabs. Uh, there's just kind of like just more things you can do with the uh, with the alert that but they're not related to what the text is that actually shows up. But if you take a look at chat, you can see exactly who redeemed it and what they redeemed. So that's not really a huge issue. But anyway, guys, uh, I do appreciate all the support. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want to go check out my Twitch stream, if you have any questions about this, I do stream every Tuesday and Thursday night. So feel free to follow me down uh, below in the description. Link will be right there. And yeah, I've been playing a lot of Valorant lately. So if you don't have Valorant access yet, you can watch my stream every Tuesday and Thursday night and hope to get access for yourself. Um, but yeah, folks, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it as always. Uh, and yeah, take it easy. Peace out. And I hope this helped you out.